Mm. Mm. Okay. Yes. And welcome back to Soothing Sounds of Sexy Radio. Soothing and, uh, Sounds mm. of Sexy Radio. Such a, the early morning radio show. You know, um, Cecily, do you, do you, how many, what do you think of our, our, our listeners out there? Do you think uh, you have a lot of listeners? I don't care how many there are out there. I just care that they're sexy. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Sexy. Yes. That's how se sexy Cecily is. She, <laughs> that's all she cares about, the sensuality and the sex. That's why we hired her. That's why we had to hear at, uh, at Sexy Radio. You know? Sexy Radio, I get hired because I've got a sexy voice. Oh, wow. So, I mean, how about you? Listen, so, sexy Greg, how are you? How is your I know my name. My name doesn't have the same alliteration. No, it does. You know what? I I'm gonna rename myself Gorgeous Greg today on the radio station. We're hearing it here first. Gorgeous Greg on Sexy Central Radio. Yeah, gorgeous Greg, Greg, Greg. How's your weekend, Gorgeous Greg? Did you do uh, anything sexy? Um, well, yes, I, uh, you know, I, uh, let's see, uh, the dishwasher broke, so I, I fixed that. Sexy um, repairman. Yep, yep, and then, um, well, I ran out of milk, so I had to do an errand, you know, and then went and got some groceries, and they're there. When you get milk, you get the other things, too, eggs, bread, sriracha, sauce. Se oh, wait, hold on. A sexy hunter-gatherer. Yeah. You know, Cecil, can, can, can I ask you a question, Cecil? Yeah, you can. Can ask me anything you want, Greg. Anything. Is this how you saw being like a radio star when you when you when you went to radio school and you dreamed of being a radio host? Is this what you? Is this what you pictured? Sexy Cecily studied social sciences. I thought I would be talking about what's going on in the news. Well, you see. That's exactly it. I mean, first of all, that alliteration was great, but also I this is exactly it. We surprised by it just as I was, just as I came to it. This is why. This is why you're, we hire you here. Cheers. Cheers. By the way. Um, listen to their mic. Um, I mean, it just I mean, yeah, we're journalists. It's like you're saying. We, you you studied social science. You want to get out there and and you know uh, talk about the news of the day. And here we are just talking about our sexy our sexy weekends. And you know, obviously, it's very sexy, but. I just, I feel like I can do more, you know? I wanted to change the world, but now I just kind of sing awkwardly into the mic, because that's what I get paid to do. You know, Cecily, we actually don't get paid to sing the mic. We get paid to entertain our listeners, okay? Are our listeners entertained? Or, or are they informed? I think we owe it to them to inform Ooh. them on the topics of the day. Mm, sexy Greg is passionate about this topic. I just, <sighs> I'm sorry, you know what, you're right, you're right, so let's just go back to talking about yeah. my, my sexy weekend, you know, that's the show. Please, so please. yes, um, let's see, I, I did sexy groceries, uh, sexy, sexy dishwasher <laughs> repair. Um, there was some, uh, it was like an ant sort of infestation in the cupboards, one of the cupboards, so I guess the ant poison. Sexy. I just feel like, you know, again, this is, uh, I, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not feeling the sexiness, you know? I mean, look, uh, just, just this weekend, okay, like, uh, uh, patriots, quote unquote, you know, uh, attacked Capitol Hill, okay, and here we are talking about uh, sexy ants in my cupboard? I mean, Greg, I can tell that you're very passionate about things. When you when you studied radio, I feel like I should have asked you the question as well. Right. When you studied to become a sexy radio host, what did you think you would be doing? You know, I, I didn't want to be a sexy radio host. I just I I kind of fell into it. Okay, what I wanted to be was a journalist. Okay, I wanted to to travel to Darfur or, Ooh, or, sexy, or Bosnia. Sexy Bosnia, what about her Gabinia? I just wanted to be taken seriously, and everyone just wanted me to be sexy Greg, and it didn't even rhyme. There wasn't even there was no alliteration at all. Yes. With yours, it made sense. Mine was yeah, sexy Greg. <sighs> I Greg, I, 
I could feel the frustration mounting in you. I can feel that you're tense and that you've got a big burden on your shoulder. Thank you. Yes, I am. And I, I, I could tell, tell that you're passionate about what's going on. I am. So it's just, there's so much, so much that needs to be done. It looks like maybe if I gave you a massage, you would feel a little bit better. Well, maybe a little bit. I'm a little tense, but I just, I, I don't know if that's here, really what. Here. I mean, let me try. Is that better? Oh, okay. Okay. Yes. Oh, there. Oh, that's good. Okay. Yeah. Wait, wait a minute, Cecil. Wait a minute. You're, I see what you're just, uh, trying, you're trying to make this sexy again. I'm sorry. I'm trying to make it sexy. I, you're I, trying to make it sexy. Oh, okay. You know what? I don't Cecily, like first of all, first of all, we have a professional relationship we need to maintain. Here. Okay. First of all, okay. I mean, I'm sure there's problems. I, if I talk, to uh, Brenda in HR, she's gonna, you know, have some okay. words for this. But you know what, Cecily, I don't want to bring okay. in Brenda. Okay, this is me and you. Okay, be fair. And like, I, appre I appreciate, you know, that that you're 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 trying to like stay to the theme of the show. Okay, yes. but I just what I'm asking is, I'm more than just sexy okay. Greg. Okay, I also have have feelings. All right, and passions. Like what? You have feelings. Uh, I, Darfur. I mentioned Darfur, you did didn't mention I? Darfur. I just, I, I, there's so much injustice. I just want to write the injustice of the world. Is that too much to ask for a 4 a.m. radio talk show? I, I hear what you're saying. I know there are lots of injustices going on in the world. I know it's a, horrible state of affairs that our neighbors down south have just yes. you know combined their efforts of hatred and uh and uh, and you know i it's basically hatred you could sum it all up in that one word hatred yeah. and then collectively destroyed a piece of democracy that represents uh, something far greater than uh, uh, far greater than the individuals themselves. I know that, that you're frustrated that so many people were, uh, that, that so many people just let these people walk in when meanwhile we've seen time after time again, uh, people of color and black people in, in that same country be uh, brutally violent, uh, endured brutal violence acts, whereas these folks were just allowed to walk in in the same location, just several months apart, and just conduct their acts of hatred and, and, uh, and uh, violence and, and brutality. And, and I can tell that you're frustrated that an entire population of, of people or half a country are so convinced that a man who, who lies to them constantly is, is able to mobilize them in a way that really actions and targets Okay, well, Cecily, 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 Cecily. That was the sexiest thing I've ever heard you say. In all the years of doing this show, no one has ever been so sexy and sensual while talking about the atrocities of the day. I, I'm, I'm wow. You, you want to, you like, that was, let me, you liked that. Wait I till did, you hear. Yeah, I really yeah. did. Wow. I, well, I wait till you, you had it in you. Wait till you hear what I have to say about all those MPs traveling oh, during oh. Oh, yes. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Tell me all about it. Oh, they're not mm, good. Mm, they're bad mm, folks. Mm. 